Greetings, you proud sons of Rome, and welcome back. I, as usual, picked up where we left off last time, and we have solidified our empire. Last episode we acquired a good few territories, and as I said in the last episode, uh, maybe you're watching this back to back, but for those um, who are not doing so, I'm just gonna recap my plans and that is to utilize this little army take Cartago we have a settlement here which I want to take Ajax Ajax or how you want to pronounce it we have uh, these guys who made a valiant effort last episode to uh, defeat the Roman army that sallied out and uh, we got Aquae Sextae uh, thank you, true friend, who commented on the last video with the pronunciation. Uh, and these guys, when they have uh, replenished up a bit, you see there the yellow bar is the replenish rate. Then we're gonna take Narbo and we're gonna continue on that way. So, that's our expansion plans. And then, obviously, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I suppose they have a garrison arm here of some sort. So, uh, we're gonna need some more some more ships so uh, four of those archers and then I think we'll be set there we have the threat of this uh, Legio X Gemina Warriors but I suppose they, they will stand there for a turn uh, and not really do anything or if they do we will meet them with force so um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave them for one more turn. If they don't do anything, I might charge them from there and from there. However, what we can do with these guys is that this settlement might actually be up for grabs this very turn. So we're gonna do that to see if we have a smaller battle or if it's just to walk in. Alright, it's just to walk in. And the reason for that is that this settlement has been sacked over and over again. Uh, so I suppose the buildings... Oh yeah, you see the settlement is uh, pretty much uh, just destroyed. Uh, so there went the entire treasure we had to just repair it. And um, this, so this uh, settlement has just been sacked and sacked again and again. And obviously we saw that, so I I guessed that it wouldn't be much of a fight. Uh, so it would be either a depleted garrison or no garrison at all. So uh, yeah, with that said, let us... Uh, might want to have another force here. Lord. Okay, this governed province. I want a... Uh, that's good, a defend race army. And uh Alright, some some unit to stave off the incoming rebellion. I'm gonna end the turn. And I'm gonna edit that away to save some time. Alright, I I took the turn there, but then this happened I thought to show you, and I have no real um wish to fight the Huns even though they offer us payment so I'm just gonna have to have to decline that for now and uh, maybe we'll be forced into combat with the Huns sooner or later as I I suppose we um, we will be here is the rebellion that uh, that came and you see here Salona is under siege from the Quarians, our true friends, whom we trained legs with, uh, as I might have mentioned. Now, the blasphemous thing here is that we need all of these regions to uh, to fulfill our um, uh, this um, victory condition, but uh, we also have to survive until 425, which is a long a lot of turns so I'm even not sure if I'm going to uh, to like take every turn I might just um, 
we might uh, come to uh, another conclusion, true friends, uh, regarding that instead, uh, depending on how how well the campaign goes and everything. Okay, so now we have a few things we we should do. I wonder if we should just um, try to smash this little army. Yeah. And I'm gonna see if I can do anything fun or hinder army ruin provisions. Yes, please. And oh, success! Thank you. And we're just gonna do like that. Boom. Okay, they. They fled there. Move out. Gonna chase them. Okay, we don't. If we do like this, if they can get just a bit uh, closer there. But they... It doesn't look they, like they're supporting. How silly of them. Now then. Oh yeah, nice. Boom. Okay, the, the balance of power was uh, quite much in our favor there. So I'm just gonna auto resolve that. Let's take on warriors. Cool. And let's see there. Do we have some more help? Yes, we do. Boo. Aha, okay. Ah, or uh, of course it's depleted there. Uh, no sense in um, taking any chances there. So, what we might do is. One of these armies, and I obviously want to keep Vitericus safe and sound here in Italia, but one of these armies will uh, strike out somewhere. What we can do is take Ajax, Ajax, uh, yeah, about that pronunciation, you can comment below as well if you have any suggestions. Uh, I'm gonna let these guys replenish as well. Um, can we Kill them all. okay we're being reinforced by uh, by these uh, true friends how uh, how quaint thank you but they're a bit uh, they're a bit cheeky they're uh, raiding not our territory but the tribe. The Verona territory. Out. And a level on you. Go with cunning. Uh, no, I don't want you to have more influence because influence is reserved for my family. Here, on the other hand, can. God, that uh, that costs uh, quite a bit. A military jetty is not really something we need, so we're gonna dismantle you and then convert you, is actually my thoughts there. A farmstead could be cool to have, and a artisan could also be cool to have. Alright, wonderful. So, what we're looking at doing now is... Ah, oh, God. Absolutely wrong way. That... Uh, <laughs> a silly mistake of me. I don't know why they do that. If it's a... Uh, if it's a bug or if I'm just... Um, inexperienced with it but yeah either way these guys will go there and these guys will try to take Ajax right now okay so we outnumber them but obviously they have uh, the um, the settlement with uh, really solid towers so, 
Do you know what, true friends? I'm actually gonna take this. You see, the balance power is not in our favor particularly much, but uh, win or lose, it might make for a cool episode. So, uh, and I mean, it's um, I, I haven't really had that many battles in in this uh, campaign yet, so it might be fun. So yeah, outnumber them, but our units aren't that large, and they have the. Um, yeah, they are defending, so they have the towers and everything, which obviously can be um, a bit of a hustle to uh, <laughs> to deal with. And especially knowing having played with the Romans, I know that the um, the towers do a lot. I'm gonna go with dry, considering we have a lot of uh, missile units as well. Assault ships ready to attack. Assault ships ready to attack, and now you see the balance power is quite much in our favor, which is interesting. So, if we land here, we're gonna take fire from that tower, but if we come up here, we'll be shielded. So this is our, this is where we want to go. So, with that said, I'm just gonna try to deploy you there, start battle, get in position right here, and just try to um, try to get into the settlement here. So um, we can look at the the graphics of it. God, this game is beautiful. Look at this church. Foa, meeting, wonderful. And here, here they land. The Romans. We don't stand a chance! The enemy outnumbers us! There is one glorious ship as well. And a glorious settlement, obviously. Some nice weather also. Ready and able! Alright. You can you can fire as much as you like. Sold ships. I see their uh, their the tower is uh, is shooting out us and that's obviously not not something we want to um, not something we want to do okay you shoot at him and we're gonna go with a heavy shot there all right shoot at him you uh, Glorious sunset. Glory to God Himself. Come on and land, damn you. All right, we and you see our uh, our units are really small. They're only forty, no, fifty-four men. And hello, general. Get in the battle. And this is really good. Plus 15 melee defense. Bleed for us. But you see, we uh, quite um, don't really have anything. Uh, any any punch in the in the close combat, considering our, our small units there. So I'm just gonna try to have our ships shoot them to death. This ship has nothing more to fire. Oh, but surely you can you can reload your ammo. More ammunition. This ship will continue firing. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for that. Your word. 
Ah, oh, come on. Look at that killing field. Ah, oh, I I do not envy these Romans one bit. We're gonna admire the uh, the action. God, look at this this absolute mayhem. Yes, come on, die for me. They're uh, heavily armored, though. But look at that. The ships are just incoming. Ships are we getting uh, shot at, actually? Ready and able. The okay, the, that's uh, those guys. Ah, oh, God. Okay, they, the they're running up there. How blasphemous. Roman Light Marines. Okay, we need to deal with uh, with the archers, with the Sagdaria instead, and. Um, Okay, that's ammunition stops restored. That uh, proved a bit of a problem. I wish I had some cavalry to to counteract their blasphemous ways. Hunger for blood and battle. Heavy spear infantry, but I suppose that All's ready. All's ready. Ready that those guys. Okay, cool. They're running there. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, they were beautiful. How how glorious! That's uh, that was a really fun battle. I've never taken one of those uh, <laughs> a settlement that way before. I remember the was it the second Geats campaign episode I made uh, earlier this year, and I failed horribly uh, in when I tried to take a Roman settlement like that. But uh, thanks to the um, to the archers, I I suppose we we won that. I'm gonna occupy records. you. Thank you for that. And Latin Pavitry. Repair you. And we oh, we're actually gonna dismantle you to be honest. Yes. So uh so yeah, wonderful. A cool um, uh, a cool battle in this episode. I will take one more turn because I thought to make this a bit of a longer episode uh, because I don't know how many videos will be up when this comes up. I am most probably in Germany in a photo shoot while uh, while you are watching this, so uh, I might as well take another turn to see what the crack is. Can we do anything more? Right now, no, not really. End turn, and then um, yeah, I'm gonna edit the the turn away. Sweet. All right, we might assign a uh, governor, and it's either there, up in southern Gaul, or in. Um, Okay, we have three options. I suppose that Narbo Narbo Nensis might be a, a good good thing. And obviously not fighter because it's gonna be in garrison. Agent recruitment might be fun, but Lord Well from ag Agricultural Animal Husbandry. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Let's uh, let's go with you. 
and issue an edict. Construction costs. Yes, please. Okay, now I'm gonna end turn and edit it. Edit it away. All right. Look at that. The okay. They didn't attack. It looked exactly like they were going to attack us in our little uh, ravaged settlement of Aquilia. But they stayed their hand, which we are uh, all thankful for. I am. I'm sure. Or maybe not. It could have been a cool fight, but I only think that little fleet is. Uh, very small, so uh, might have been a silly thing of them to, to charge recklessly into our settlement like that, to be butchered. I wonder if, uh, if I can make the Western Romans my client state. Cool. Okay, rebellion imminent. That. Uh, okay, two imminent. Okay, the Visigoths are finally at war with the Romans. Uh, a bit too late, maybe. Okay, cool. These guys have uh, leveled. Or not these guys, this guy. Because uh, the force can also level. But that's not the case right now. Morale. Melee defense. Sacking. Integrity. Ammunition is fun. Next level, melee attack, plus six. Boom, let's go with that. And what did he get also? Okay, cool. That um, that's nice. It's neat. Father be praised! How can I help? Oh, we, we got another one as well. Boom, authority. Okay, he gains uh, to the neutral level there. It's gonna... Ready for battle. I will do this in um in a smart way. These guys, the Grim Awakening, will go and take Karalis. I think that is a good idea. Go down there. And they can actually reach that next turn. Ah, some attrition, but that uh, that will have to be fine. Ready for orders. And you. Okay, this might be... Uh, I actually want to land first. If we can even do that. Or if we can just charge in here and see if... Um, Hadrumentum can be. Ah, oh, look at that! Wonderful! That was. Uh, looked like an easy battle, so uh, it's gonna auto resolve that and, and take this segment for our own. And then they can replenish air. Liberate. No, don't occupy you. I'm greedy, I want all territory for myself. Uh, Fishing jet is yes, please. Repair you. Yes. Are you sure there is nothing else? No, nothing else right now. And then after that, replenish. Might even recruit two more units the and then take Carthago and then Constantia. God, this uh, imagine this uh, campaign that started in such a mess swiftly became glorious. Aryan Babistry might actually be a good idea. And they, it seems like they have taken away the um, the upkeep for the religious buildings, so that's nice. That is uh, that's really, really nice of them. We have another construction site right here. And I do intend to take all of these islands, so uh, might as well go with uh, with another one there. And there, okay, that yeah, that was just uh, a little army. 
How can I assist you? And I will reduce Protecting corruption, gain some extra Destroy income. Them! And our beloved king, aka me, will now charge you and uh, simply decapitate you for your insolence. Getting on our way. Gonna take them on though. Alright, cool. What more First can be done? Battle. You can be garrisoned there. Okay, we'll still have a rebellion on our hands there, but that's that's fine. Ready it's cool. Now, what I am wondering if is if uh, Narbo might be a fun place to take. And God, the these settlements are just beckoning to me to take. All right, what do you think, true friends? Should I or should I not acquire Narbo for the glory of the Gothic Empire? I'm actually going to do that. Right now. Boom. Okay. Okay. God, that's a large garrison army. Should have waited one more turn for the... Uh, for the um, replenishment to take place. So we're gonna do that. Gonna recruit one more unit uh, just to be on the safe side. Alright, so I'll take one more turn in this glorious episode in all actuality and turn Boom. okay rebellion in Venetia and Liguria rebellion imminent rebellion imminent mission issued raise a fleet and the reward is unit experience plus one for all recruits nice and we can also research something new and definitely definitely that one um, I have mainly taken the these ones so far Father be praised how can I help ah oh, look at that we can upgrade you boom Legio Love it. Absolutely love it. And what more can we do? We need to deal with these rebellions. Ah, oh, cool. We can upgrade you as well. Boom. And all of you, actually. Boom. The Alans. Hmm. How dare they have that settlement? That's uh, that's my settlement. How dare they claim it for their own? Father be praised. How can I help? I can kill those guys anyway. Boom! There we go. Nice. For the tribe. I I am tempted. Let's look at the diplom diplomatic repercussions of doing so. Very friendly and improving. I could trade with them as well, but uh, but I do not. In all actuality, I do not want Greetings, to trade with them friend. because I. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and. Ah, ripe women to ease other parts. Well, uh, that sounds sounds nice. We do not beg for gold. All right, they they offered us some gold. That my and master extends the most magnificent welcome to you Hi, and your wonderful. honorable people. What wisdom do you bring? I bring wisdom regarding a trade agreement. 
Low, okay, let's uh, load it down. Boom. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for that. And how the about you? You want to trade? Listen to you, but do not pass. Low, no, okay, it's fine. It's absolute. The Jutes, always Welcome. up to uh, we'll to mischief. Then we these will guys. feast until our guts rumble and our backsides ache from overuse. Do you want to pay me something then? Weak, okay. Oh well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it with you guys. You might invade me. I have military access with Macedonia, but they... They're unfriendly and it's deteriorating. Markomans. We have Hello. need of talk, I'm sure. But we also indeed, need good indeed. food, a warm fire, and warm women. Warm women? Why do they want to uh, give their women to me? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Uh, but uh, I would not extend the same hospitality if they came to my lands. I mean, you, you give them food, obviously, but don't fucking give them your women. That's rather, that's rather barbaric, I suppose. Wipe them out. Okay, so um. So what should be done? about Verona I do want the settlement and look at how much uh, money we got now trading all over the place god this uh, love this campaign it's going really well it does indeed um do you know what true friends I'm actually gonna leave this episode right here since we got got in a cool battle and then Ready next turn I'm gonna let this heal up and then charge this one. And since they had a cool garrison army there, we will um, we'll take that battle then. And then we have some rebellions on our uh, on our um, that we have to deal with. You know, like that. Okay, they they didn't reach uh, the entire way there. How silly. But. No! You blasphemous heathens! Italia is actually taking Carthago. How can well, I'm not gonna help, help them. No way, that's my settlement. How dare they steal it from me. Okay, so uh, perhaps not no major land gains, but we took Aquila. And we have taken Ajax. And... Or actually, we could uh, could do like this: retrain you, and uh, we'll probably get some force there. Ah, wonderful! Ba boom! Glory to God Himself! And okay, there, there we are. Now we have taken our. Uh, oh, look at the public order, though. Fuck! Uh, not very good at all, I'm afraid. Okay, now I will leave you. Now we had our three settlements which we have taken. So, Caralis, Hadrumentum, Aquila, and Ajax. Actually, four settlements. Oh well. Thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. Always a pleasure. And um, feel free to come with any, any comments. Do you, what do you think here? Verona, should we... Start a war and just uh, steamroll them with our king and then uh, deal with these insolent dogs the next time That's my thoughts at least but um, But yeah, and also give me some uh, some criticism now um, Now this campaign is actually looking Looking at expanding quite rapidly uh, So um, Any suggestions where I might go next? Perhaps down in, in Spain, here, and Northern Africa, might be a good idea. 
But yeah, either way, come with, uh, come with any constructive criticism or advice as usual. And thank you very much for watching. And who am I? I'm the proud champion of the Savior. XXO. Boom.